Hey, uh, Jason number two here with Zach at PRP headquarters. Today we're going to give you a behind the scenes look of our facility and how we make your custom off-road seats. Let's go check it out. So if you happen to be in the Temecula area, you can stop by our showroom here and we have all of our bags and storage here on display as well as harnesses, limit straps, and our custom seats. You can also order online at prpseats.com or with your local dealer. On our website, we have our own integrated seat builder which shows you exactly what your customized seats are going to look like. Use our customized seat builder online to choose and design your own custom seat. Choose from logo colors, model colors, stitching colors, seat options like water packs and rear pockets and air lumbar. Heated seats is always the biggest one and any extra options you want for your customized seat. So once you place your order, whether online or here at the shop, uh, it starts in two locations. I'm going to take you through cutting and embroidery and sewing. I'm going to take you over to the weld shop where you see how all of our seat frames and liners are made. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're here with uh, Jeffrey. He's in charge of cutting and embroidery for PRP. Jeffrey, tell us a little bit about what you do here. All right, so I'm the cutter and I'm a supervisor of the embroidery and bundling area. We have a Eastman program that uh, nests all our pieces together from a sew list so we can uh, send it out here to the cutters. And uh, what I do is I grab the appropriate material, I cut the pieces out, I put them on the bundling rack. Uh, once the list is done, the bundlers grab the pieces and uh, put the seats together and put them on the bundling shelf. If there's any embroideries, we send them over here to Samuel. Uh, we can do anything from PRP, GTSCs, XCs to custom logos. We have a Wilcom embroidery program that uh, we can do any kind of custom logo a customer wants. And uh, once he's done, then we'll put them with the finished product and then the sewers will go ahead and grab them and, and get them sewn. As Jeffrey said, once everything's bundled and put together, uh, it comes to our sewers. And as opposed to a traditional assembly line, we have each seat being put together by one individual. And that just helps them be able to follow all the custom options and make sure everything's still together. So uh, we have usually six to eight sewers working at one time. We have two shifts, just pumping out all those custom seats we get every day. Now we're over at the weld shop. This is where we make all the seat frames, the inner liners, and all the different mounts for tons of different vehicles that our seats go into. Let's go check it out. So here, you can see we have all the different inner liners for GC Wildcats, different benches, uh, Razor sizes, 170s, RSs, all the different seats, all the different kind of models as well on there too. So these inner liners, you'll see when we get to mounting, are what wrap around the seat frame and kind of give it that suspension feel to it. Now this is inside our weld shop. This is where we cut all the steel tubing that goes into our steel seat frame and also get it all welded together on the jig. After each frame gets welded up, get them all boxed up, take them off the powder coat. Once we get them back to powder coat, we're going to go back to the main facility at PRP and get mounted up with the liners. Next door is where we have all our mounts for all the different seat bases for vehicles. So UTVs, the Razor ones are already kind of built in, Can-Am mounts, YXZ mounts, Wildcat mounts, and also Jeeps, Tacomas, random other vehicles and stuff for all of our seats. As well as where we have all of our spare tire mounts in here as well. All right, so now Zach is back from the weld and liner shop. Zach, tell us a little bit what happens next. Now that we got the powder, the, uh, the frames back from powder coat, 
We're going to take them along with the liners and lace them together with high strength paracord. So we take high strength paracord line, lace it together through the liner, wrap it around the seat frame, and use pliers to pull it extra tight to give it good strength. Once the liners are on the frames, it comes over here to the foaming department. What they do is use spray on glue and then attach the foam to the liner. And that keeps it in place while you're riding so it doesn't uh, create lumps or come loose. Next up, we come to mounting. Here, we take the foamed seat frames, put it all together, and put the covers on top. So our final stage in production is arguably the most important. Here, they do all the cleaning, so they trim loose threads, they clean off all the chalk marks from the cutter, and uh, they also check for maybe any imperfections or mistakes that may have been made. And then once it's done there, it gets bagged and goes to pickup or shipping. On average, we produce around 60 to 70 seats per day here at the warehouse. They're available, lots of them get shipped out to all customers all around the country and the world. If not, we also have them available for pickup here at the warehouse. So if you've ordered online uh, from one of our retail partners or in-store anywhere, chances are they've dealt with our sales staff here. Uh, we have, this is Jason number one here, he's the sales manager and the rest of the staff field over 300 calls a day and keep everything here running smoothly, make sure your order's on time. All right, so that's it. That's a overview, a look at how your custom seats are made here at PRP Seats. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and also follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.